Hi guys, welcome back to the whole city career mode. Welcome back to the Twitch. If you're, how are you all doing? Hopefully you are all doing very very well. And yeah, let's let's get into it then. I'll show you my squad because you might remember it. Because it's been quite a while since I've done this career mode. We got Barnes, who we've just signed from Leicester, Tony and Buemo, Gomez, Baluzza, Graven Hurt, Kelly, Device, Soria, Bogle, and that goalkeeper that I just can't pronounce. Career. Sorry, just done. Right now we can get into this. Actually, I'm just going to put a quick tweet out there we are done right let's go then so yep that's what we got we'll look at our emails the match is sold interest shown in lesser city yeah not too interested we got six million for the match who else could we potentially sign with 20 mil. There's not very many people. I wanna retire. Oh, Begovic is retiring at the end of the season. Why is he loan listed? I don't wanna. Right, I'm gonna negotiate some contracts so they don't run out before I forget. Jesus, he has 450k and 50 pounds a week in the Premier League. We'll give him a five year deal. Yeah, I agree. I don't want a release clause on him. Doesn't even want that much, but yeah, that's fine. I accept that. Oh, my controller's doing the glitch again. If you watch my videos, you know what this is. It's just where my controller says that I'm pressing up when I'm clearly not. So, yeah, we'll just wait for it to... It's not going at the minute, but... Yeah, hopefully it will soon. Then we can do some more contracts. So I'm just doing this because in January, some clubs make pre-contract signings. And we don't want anyone to like, take our players. We got some players out on loan there. So we got two left backs there, Brandon Fleming and Blanco, I think. We got, yeah, we we would have four left backs. We only need two really, maybe three for squad depth, but. I don't understand why my controller does this. Why can't it just work normally? Like, I haven't thrown it or like, I haven't broken it. It should just work like any other controller. But it does this. Which is really annoying. You know what? I'm gonna save some time. Oh my god, this is really frustrating me now. Why is this controller doing it? Just gonna press some random buttons on it. Hopefully that will do something. I 
I guess guys you're gonna have to weigh it out so can I skip forward a minute two minutes maybe but I'm afraid we're gonna have to wait this out pretty annoying anyway though still going What's our aim for this season? Uh, probably to finish in the Europa League spot, seventh place. If we can get seventh and finish in Europe, that'll be insane. But it's going to be quite hard. Especially with a controller that doesn't work properly. Finally, man, that took ages. Right. Right, you know what? We'll simulate this game quickly against Villa. Hoping for at least a draw. They lost their first game against Chelsea. Come on. I, well, I, I said at the start I'll take a draw, so... I'll take a nil-nil. Any point away from home for us is important, but... Against these teams like Villa, we need to be beating them. We're fifth in the league, so that's a positive. We want to try and stay there. We we'll just renew all these contracts. Oh, yeah, device. 45k a week, jeez. Mackenzie, 14k a week. 7k a week. The amount of money that's in the Prem is mad. Approached by Villarreal. Yeah, it's mad the amount of money that there is in the top leagues and how little money there is in the bottom leagues when they're literally doing the same thing alright we'll give Tommy Eves another contract 20k a week though, Kane Lewis Potts to that online alright good ok go do some training hopefully get and move forward. I'm not sure who we have next, but so our first two games we've played West Ham and uh, Villa. We've beaten West Ham and drawn to Villa. Villa Real have an offer. Paul Grave and Hertz, I'm going to reject. Offer for Balassi 1.4 mil. I'm going to accept that. I didn't even know I still had Balassi, but he's he's 34 years of age. He's not going to be in my team. And 1.4 mil for Balassi is pretty good in my opinion. That is a very, very good deal there. We're sixth in the league. If we can finish around this position at the end of the season, that would be insane. We've got Newcastle next. Transfer offer for... I think this guy's a keeper. I'm going to reject it though. A loan offer I could accept. Because he needs some game time. Because we have like four keepers in the club. Oh, if we can get into the Europa League. That would be so good, right? He's doing it again. Why? Oh, I'm, I'm going to buy a new PlayStation controller. This is so annoying. I can't even... can't do anything properly. Real Madrid Cleek keen on signing Carvajal. Doesn't he already play for them? He might have transferred somewhere else and then... 
then gone back there but we're 10th with a game in hand if we win we go up to like I don't know 7th 6th around that area which will be a great start for us Finally. Alright, Newcastle at home, please. We missed a pen in the eighth minute. Oh my god. Sick. We lost 3 0 to Newcastle. I don't know how good Newcastle are, but. They shouldn't be beating us 3-0. Yes, we did miss a pen early on, which would have probably changed the game. But they shouldn't be beating us 3-0 at home. Another off for Balassi. Oh, his talks have broken down. What? I don't want him here. He doesn't play. Right. Let's go in a year and Stoke interested. Oh, except both they can fight it out for him. Don't really know why they're interested in signing Balassi, but fair enough. Atletico Mineiro are a pretty big club in Brazil, so don't know why they're after Balassi, but yes, we're through in the cup to the third round of the Carabao Cup. Arsenal next, great, so it doesn't get any easier. Starting to slide down the table a bit. Arsenal away, never going to be easy. Probably going to end up losing because they're on insane form. That's not bad. A 2-1 defeat. We pulled it back level. Barnes got himself a goal. But then, obviously, Saka got two goals for them. But, yeah, it's not... It's not that good. United aren't doing too great. Temp in the league, same points as us. Not good for them. And Buemo's just gone up a rating. To 81 overall. Alright, we'll skip. See if we can get Balassi sold and maybe go in for another transfer. Balassi has been sold. Is there any way that we can get Fatty in? You know, the, the Barcelona guy. This Asu Fatty. Give it a go. Doubt we'll be able to get him in, though. This is a last ditch bid to get him in. On deadline day. Or just before deadline day. Who could we offer? I nearly accidentally offered. I'll give him Bellarabi. Nope. Do we have any strikers? Jeez, we only have Tony. We need a new striker. Fullbacks. I don't really want. 
I don't know how much it'll be worth though. Device. Oh, we could. Could give Tony. Because Fatty's so much younger and then play. Like, um, when we're up front or something. How much would they ask for if I offered Tony? Okay, they don't want that. I'll just give them 20 mil. Okay, we might be getting on to something now. Uh, I'll edit it on clause and make it the maximum. 25. That's the control they're going again. Oh. Try to get it a bit less. That. Come on, Barca. How about Max selling claws? That. Come on. Yes, we have a deal. As long as we can agree his contract. He's 19 years old. He's going to be sick. I don't know what his rating will be. It'll be like 75 to 78-ish. That's going to be absolutely insane. Would rotation are important? He wants crucial. God. Oh, I'm scared he's going to be on a high wage. Five years. He's young though, so. No, we don't want to release claws. What's the most I can give him? Screw it. 50k. He has to accept that. What? No. Remove bonus. Come on, accept that. Fine, thank God. All of our money just went into signing him. He's 81 rated at 19 years old. I think this is the this is this is gonna be a, a changer. This is gonna be a changer in our like career. But we can't play him though, because we've already got quite a sign in though. Okay, right. We're going to have to change this around somehow. Maybe we can go free at the back. Like that. Tony up front. Gomez. Gomez can play on the left. Oh, can Bogle... Kelly can go centre back. But we're going to have to drop Bogle. Right, we'll switch him out for him. I don't know what we're going to do. Tony, Gomez, and Buemo. Barnes, Balutz, a Graven Hatch. That's a good team. Twenty three, twenty one. Uh, how old's Tony? 26, and he's a striker. Still got Ken on the bench as well. I'm going to do this for now. like that see if that works I don't know if it will but hopefully it's good enough as we go into transfer deadline day there's gonna be no deals for us as in bringing in players sporting want Kelly I don't want Kelly to leave Arsenal have made some mad signing, Jesus. Alright, new signing in for Southampton. 
at home. Chance to get some points. Against one of the sides who will probably be down there. No offense, Sir Anton, but they'll probably be down there. Look at that. Um, Fatty set to replace Bala. I oh, can say so, but Balassi didn't really play. Fatty's going to start every week, and Balassi just had no role in the squad. Right, so I'm doing at home. Fatty's first game. Barcelona talent has come to the cake on. What can he do? I don't know. But the most important thing is that we got a 1 0 win. Keep our slimish Europa League hopes flickering. Six weeks out. Six weeks for Kelly. So he'll miss the next next few games at least. Put them away. That's the team. Our oh, device is out as well. We got Bo oh no, it was Bogle. So Bogle and Device both out. It could be a bit worrying. I don't think we have a centre back to replace him. Graven hurt or someone might have to play centre back. The controller's going again. I'm just thinking to myself. We're twelfth in the league. There's we're probably well, yeah, we're not gonna get relegated, are we? We're probably not gonna make Europe we're probably gonna be around tenth fish to to 14th fish this season it'd just be like a, a rebuilding season so yeah we'll see what happens Bree starts and, and Baluza plays centre back and it worked with an Bremer hat trick yeah Baluza centre back I forgot about that he can play there that's pretty good actually Controller's gone again. Right, Bree starts and so does Baluza at the back. And we win 3 0. Don't think Fatty scored yet, but Tony's still doing what he's done all career. Man City next. So we're level on points with sixth. Maybe there's still a chance. Maybe. I don't know, it'll be insane if we can, though. We did well, actually. 2-1 defeat to Man City is nothing to be ashamed of. Especially when you're whole city in 8th place. 2 points behind 7th. So it's really, really possible here. As we face Brighton. As the controller is going again. Oh my god. It actually really annoys me. Like, why? Right, there we go. Come on. Let's continue this against Brighton and Hovalvian. What happened? What the hell happened there? Maybe it's our defensive frailties? I don't know, but... It's not what I expected. That's back-to-back -back defeats now and a further dent in our European push. Don't know how long device is out for either. Why is my controller doing this? Might have to end the episode early, guys, because this is so annoying. Back yet? No, doesn't want to. Who have we got next anyway? 
got maybe an international break there. Palace. Player returns from injury. I don't know if that's Device or Bogle. Hopefully it's Device. It's Bogle. Mackenzie starts at the back. That's a bit dodgy. But we squeeze out a win. You can tell that was a bit dodgy after a high scoring game. But Tony comes up. Clutch. And gets the points. Which are very much needed. Liverpool away. Don't hope for anything, guys. Just hopefully not get hammered. That is not hammered. We nearly got a point. Gomez equalised. Oh, it's just a shame. We're getting some easy teams in the cup. Easily progressing here. Can we go all the way in the cup now if we're getting these easy draws? 4 0 thrashing. We are through to the next round. And it's Wolverhampton Wanderers next. Russia's an interesting one, but I don't really want to take any any jobs as we face Wolverhampton Wanderers at home. That's respectable. One will draw between two good teams. You know what? We'll go for top half this year, I think. How oh, Brighton in seventh must be must have invested the same as Newcastle. Yeah, we'll just go for top half this season, I think, because you know. There goes the controller. Right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm sorry about the episode being a bit shorter, but I just can't do anything if this controller's like this. Anyway, bye-bye. Please subscribe. Like the video as well. And I'll see you later.